From a runaway lane in Wyoming that stopped this speeding truck in its tracks, and a trucker in Russia who decided to ignore the weight limit signs, to a drunk driver in Milwaukee who took out a pair of traffic lights on the highway, and much more. Here are the worst truck collisions and mistakes caught on camera. Montville is a small town in Medina County, Ohio. It's home to about 13,000 people and a truck driver who came inches from disaster. He went from villain to hero in a matter of minutes. A call came into the Montville Police Department about a dump truck that had just blown by a stopped school bus. The driver narrowly avoided a catastrophic collision and just kept going. Footage from inside the cab shows how close he came. According to police, the driver kept going and finally pulled back into the truck station. When they caught up with him, they realized there was more to the story. His brakes had failed while driving downhill. He saw the bus stopping up ahead and leaned on his horn, praying he'd have enough room to squeeze by. Then he threaded the needle between the bus and the pickup. Footage from inside the bus shows how bad the crash could have been. The bus monitor probably thought our truck driver was out of his mind. Can you blame her though? How was she supposed to know this guy didn't have any brakes? Miraculously, the only damage was to the white SUV after the driver of the black pickup backed into them. He said he had to think fast, and backing up seemed like the right move. Then again, he could have easily pulled into the driveway on his right, but hindsight is 2020. Some people don't think traffic signs apply to them. They see stop signs as suggestions, not orders. This rickety wooden bridge in Russia had no truck signs all around it, but this driver wasn't about to let that stop him. It was October 10th of 2018. Our driver tried playing it slow and steady, which may have led to his demise. He was about to learn why there are weight limit signs on bridges like this. Hopefully, his buddies helped him out instead of mocking him from above. He's lucky the water wasn't deep enough to sink his cab. Maybe he'll obey the signs next time and find an alternative route. That's assuming he didn't lose his job after this video went viral. There's nothing more annoying than missing your exit, especially on long highways like the G25 in Huzhou City, China. On April 8th of 2018, a white sedan blew by their exit, but instead of getting off at the next one, they did the most dangerous and inconsiderate thing possible. The white sedan misses their mark and stops in the middle of the road. They cross into another lane, forcing the incoming truck to swerve and flip over. But instead of seeing if the truck driver is okay, the white sedan keeps going toward their exit. This causes another truck to lose control and flip over. This time, it nearly crashes into the sedan. But our driver still doesn't have a considerate bone in their body. They keep going, leaving a chaotic scene in their wake. They had no idea fuel had begun leaking from the second truck, which could have sparked a highway fire. Both truckers walked away uninjured, though the first lost its entire cargo. Unfortunately, the cameras didn't capture the sedan driver's information. Hopefully, karma will catch up with them eventually. Teton Pass is a high, winding road through the mountain ranges of southwestern Wyoming. The highway features long, downhill stretches as drivers traverse the mountains. It's not the kind of place you'd want your brakes to fail. That's why they invest heavily in runaway ramps. On July 13th of 2021, the Wyoming Department of Transportation tested one of their latest runaway ramp designs. A 58,000-pound truck came screaming down the pass. 
Thankfully, there was an experienced stunt driver behind the wheel. Our stunt driver, Arnold Korbmacher, executed the test to perfection. The new design successfully stopped the truck without causing too much damage or injuring the driver. Normally, these ramps use long sand pits to stop runaway trucks. The problem is that the stop is usually sudden and violent. It can damage the truck and hurt the driver. This new design, technically called a truck arrester, uses steel nets that catch the truck and slow it down. It's almost like Spider-Man stopping a speeding train. Those nets are attached to canisters in the concrete sidewalls. Inside those canisters are spools of steel netting. When one spool runs out, the next one picks up the slack. Shenzhen, China is a prefecture-level city in Guangdong province. It's home to about 17.5 million people and one fortunate truck driver. He narrowly escaped while his truck slipped into the bay. Our driver arrived in port with his shipping container truck. He was heading toward the Yantian International Container Terminal when he took a sharp turn. Unfortunately, he took it a little too sharp. Here comes our driver. He turns into the terminal, but never straightens out. Instead, he hops the seawall and plummets into the water. Luckily, his container detaches and falls away. The weight of the bed prevents his entire truck from sinking to the bottom. Aftermath footage shows what that scene looked like on foot. Luckily, our driver escaped without any injuries. A crane arrived shortly after to pull the truck and container from the water. According to officials, this was the first time anybody had ever flipped their vehicle into the water. The exact cause of the accident remains under investigation. This next traffic mistake comes courtesy of the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Highway cameras were rolling above Interstate 43 near Milwaukee when they captured an erratic driver barreling down the left lane. If you were wondering, light poles will snap like in a video game when trucks crash into them. Pay attention to the red pickup. He veers left and rides up the center median. His truck effortlessly takes out a light pole, nearly striking oncoming traffic. He hits another before finally coming off the wall and grinding to a halt. Luckily, the second pole bounced in the left lane and didn't hit anyone. Traffic builds as people get out of their cars to inspect the scene. One man walks across the road to check on the driver while the owner of the white car gets out to see if there's any damage under their vehicle. Our driver eventually squeezes through the window. He stands on the median and looks at the real mess he's caused. According to reports, police arrested him after performing a field sobriety test. Luckily, nobody got hurt when this guy decided to play drunk GTA. Betim, Brazil is a major city in Minas Gerais. It's the fifth largest city in the region, home to about 444,000 people. It's also home to a lucky biker who was nearly flattened like a pancake. CCTV cameras were rolling near a busy highway in Batim. All seemed fine until an 18-wheeler lost control and flipped out of nowhere. Keep your eye on the top right corner. The truck enters the frame, already out of control. It tries to correct itself, which causes the whole thing to flip just as a motorcyclist passes by. Luckily, he escapes onto the median before the truck finally lands. He's also lucky he didn't veer too far into oncoming traffic. We're not sure what caused the accident, but if we had to guess, the truck driver swerved to avoid something, which set off the chain reaction we see here. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.